You certainly were fighting for conservative values on issue one. Yes. You were front and center in that race, and voters handily rejected it. You launched your Senate campaign in the middle of all that. How do you think issue one will inform the decision of voters moving forward? Well, listen, it's better to fight and lose than never fight at all when it's a worthwhile cause. And protecting the Ohio Constitution certainly was that. Of course, we were outspent something like three to one by out-of-state dark money that, that came in and ran what I consider some pretty deceitful ads. I think there were some in the media that really had their thumb on the scale in the way that they covered the issue. But regardless, Ohioans have spoken on that. I fear, though, that I'll be proven right over time because the things I warned about, it's not just this dangerous anti-parent amendment this November, but it's also so now a petition was just filed to eliminate qualified immunity that protects police officers when they risk their lives to keep us all safe. Uh, the mayor of Cleveland talked about getting rid of uh, you know, or what he called common sense gun reform, which means disarming law abiding citizens, as far as I can tell. A massive increase in the minimum wage that may come next year to the ballot. So there are going to be a whole series of bad ideas, largely funded by out of state special interest groups, not going to our legislature for the deliberative process that occurs there, but going direct to the ballot. And again, I think that when Ohioans see all of the, 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 the pretty extreme ballot issues that we're going to face in Ohio, uh, they'll realize that, that you know, maybe issue one uh, would have been a good idea. But again, they know that I'm going to fight for their values. But, you know, you, you said outspent, outraised. The reality is, as we reported just last week, they raised 17, 14 million dollars. Your side had 17 million dollars. You weren't outraised. You weren't. You didn't have more money on the other side. And when you make statements like, "Well, you know, they sent these deceptive ads out," it makes it sound as if you believe voters were duped. Voters that we talked to carefully studied this issue. Mm -hmm. Do you think voters were duped? I think some people were confused. I've talked to people that were confused. And listen, there'll be more finance filings to do to see where the uh, the dollars came from. Uh, there are concerns that there may have been international donors funding this, which is not legal. Uh, and so that'll be something that we'll analyze in, in the days to come. 